to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be talking about two countries canada and the united states yeah so i've been receiving a lot of dms and people asking a lot of questions or saying they are confused about where they should go to study and also some people narrate sad tales of how they followed all my steps that i mentioned in my videos and they could not land the scholarship and most times when i ask them which school did you apply to most times the school is always in canada okay so i'm going to present some facts and also share some thoughts in this video so the first thing is you should know that the united states funds more than canada yes the united states has more universities than canada also an interesting fact california is a state in the united states one of the 50 states and the population of california is more than the entire population of the whole of canada so all these things should help you to understand that in terms of giving out grants full scholarship graduate funding and all of that especially to international students foreigners the united states will be at the air capacity of doing that so this is it i know that it is the canada primary residence that is going around right now that is making a lot of people to eye canada which is fine but actually you can study in the united states and still get your canada primary residence if getting a full scholarship is your target i won't i won't advise that you should leave out the united states when applying to schools if you need full scholarship graduate funding and all of that if you are necessarily not concerned about any of that, you can apply to any of the countries. So, like, if you are targeting full scholarship, I yeah, in STEM field, science, tech, engineering, math, apply to a school in the United States. And also, in life, you don't have to be rigid. Be flexible. Be open. You can apply to schools in both countries. Do not limit yourself to, it has to be Canada. Do or die. I'm not going anywhere else. It is Canada, my country. People study in the United States and still get Canada for my residency. One does not hinder the other. You can enjoy your full scholarship in the United States and still get your Canada permanent residency. Because I'm tired of people complaining that they could not get full scholarship in Canada, they got partial, or they could not even get any scholarship in Canada, Canada, Canada. Both countries are great. And luckily enough, both countries, like, they share borders. They are close. So, and really, I don't want you to be rigid. Apply to schools in the United States too. The United States, their stress is too much right now. Yes, those things are policies and they change. Anything can still happen in the future. But my point is, do not leave out the United States when you are targeting full scholarship. Please, you can't afford to do that. Apply to schools in both countries. Both countries are great. They have great faculty members in different departments and all of that. But don't be rigid. You can study in the United States and still get that residency they are targeting. Yeah, please. So, like, be open, be more flexible, apply to schools in both countries. Your chances of getting a fully funded program is higher in the United States than in Canada. This is just the honest truth. So, just be strategic about everything. This thing is a personal decision. I can't make the decision for you. I can't tell you go to this place or go to that place. I can only tell you some facts and share my own opinion, my thoughts. So like, you know what you want, you know what is of utmost importance to you. You know that, oh, I can't afford this education abroad. I need a full scholarship. So you should know what you are doing. Do not be rigid, be open, be open and try your chances. Yes, and then go for what is the best for you. It's a personal decision. It is your life, it is your race, so you still have to make a decision at the end of the day. But I just want people to be more open. Don't be rigid. Any of the countries is fine. If you get a full scholarship in Canada, congratulations, go for it. If you get a full scholarship in the United States, please go for it. Do not toss it away. Do not be rigid. And do not limit yourself. Do not say I'm only applying to schools in Canada because I enjoy it. It's only Canada I want. Please apply to schools in the United States too. Spread your applications. Spread your tentacles and go for the best offer, the one that meets your needs and your desires. Yes, so that is just it. So I just wanted to talk about that briefly. Yes, I hope it was brief. So like, if you have questions, clarifications, or anything that I have not talked about that is related to this, please feel free to drop them in the comments. I'll attend to all of them. And please give this video a like. Give it a like right now. If you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It's waiting for you. And press the notification bell so that when I upload a new video, you be the first to be notified thank you so much guys and i'll see you in my next video bye bye